back in the home kitchen today and I thought I'd do another little experiment that you can try at home. Now in your science lessons you might have done something about acids and alkalis, these two groups of chemicals. And you might have even used universal indicator solution, which is this liquid which when added to acids and alkalis can make this whole range of colours on the rainbow and that tells us what category they fit in. But did you know you can make your own version of this indicator chemical at home? All we need is a red cabbage. Let's get going. Today's experiment is pretty straightforward. We don't need anything too elaborate. We are gonna need a knife, some hot water, and some chemicals which aren't too nice to get in our eyes. So just be aware and make sure you've got uh, an adult present. Let's get going. Okay, so I've got my red cabbage. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop it up. We're not gonna need the whole cabbage, um, but I'm gonna chop up a good portion of it to use. Okay, time to chop. So now I've got a chopped pieces of cabbage, I'm gonna put them into a saucepan. Okay, so I've got the pieces of cabbage in the saucepan uh, and I've broken it up a little bit. Now the indicator chemical is the chemical which gives the red cabbage its red color. So we wanna extract that from the cabbage. And to do that, we're gonna use water. Now most chemicals are more soluble in water if I heat it up. So I'm gonna boil the kettle and get some boiling water into this pan and put it on the hob to try and extract as much of that red chemical from the cabbage as we can. I've now got the cabbage and the water on the stove uh, heating up nicely. Now you can already see that water going this weird blue color and that shows me that I'm extracting as much of that chemical as possible. I'm gonna bring this water up to a boil and boil it for a good two, three, maybe even four minutes just to try and get as much of that chemical out as possible. A few minutes later. Okay, the cabbage has been simmering nicely and you can see just how weirdly blue that water is. I'm gonna put it through a strainer and keep the liquid. Now this is the part where you're most likely to get burnt. So make sure you're very careful, make sure that you've got um, someone there to help you. Remember, it's the liquid we're after. I've done this many a time in the lab where people have uh, filtered out the cabbage uh, and chucked away the water and then said, oh sir, what am I gonna do with this little bit of cabbage? We're after the liquid. The liquid is our indicator. And now my whole flat stinks of cabbage. Okay, so we don't need this. Eat it, do whatever, give it to the dog. I don't know, let's get rid of it. And this liquid is now our indicator. And we're gonna use this to test for some acids and alkalis. Okay, so I've poured a little bit of the cabbage indicator into these glasses and you can see um, the blue color. So let's see um, if we can change it using some household acids and alkalis. So the first thing I'm gonna try is lemon juice. Now hopefully you are happy with the idea that lemon juice is an acid. So let's see what happens. And you can see there, it turns this lovely vibrant red color. And that tells us that that indeed is an acid. Let's see if vinegar is any different. Let's see. Indeed, look at that. If anything, it looks like a little bit more of a clear red. I wonder if it's the cloudiness of the lemon juice. Now bicarbonate of soda or baking powder, okay, is an alkali when dissolved. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of this and put that in there and see if this affects it. That's quite a lot. It's quite a chunk that. It's gonna give it a little bit of a swirl, see if I can dissolve some. Probably been better if I dissolved some in water beforehand, actually. Now, you might be able to see here, it's gone a much lighter blue. Some other good household alkalis you could try would be sodium hydroxide, if you have any of that as a quite uh, aggressive cleaner. Uh, now let's try water. Does water have an effect? Indeed it doesn't, okay. You can see that all that's happened is it's uh, become a little bit more dilute and that's to be expected, right? We've just boiled up that cabbage in the water so we should be expecting to see the similar color. So we can see here the colors that this cabbage indicator will turn in acid, which is red, 
we see this green color um, for alkali and then we see just the normal blue for um, neutral which is a chemical which is neither acid nor alkali so you might be thinking what actually is an acid and what actually is an alkali an acid is a chemical which releases hydrogen ions in solution H plus now it can get more complicated but on the whole that's a nice little working definition alkalis are chemicals which can dissolve in water and can work opposite or against acids they cancel them out now most commonly these are hydroxides and they release OH minus ions in solution but there are a few other versions as well now these ions affect the color chemical in the cabbage they change precisely how the chemical acts and operates and this this gives us this color change that we can see now once you've got your full lineup you can actually see can i reverse them so if i take the vinegar the acid and put it into the basic one now first of all this will fizz so that's probably a bad idea but let's go wild and you can see that where the vinegar uh, drops in you can see a red color emerge in the bubbles and actually eventually this will all turn red indeed if I put a little bit of bicarbonate in here into the acid one again it will fizz but can we see how we've gone back from that red to the blue so experiment can you make a full rainbow of colors because actually you can use some stronger acids and some stronger alkalides and get even more colors so we have it another experiment uh hopefully you enjoyed that one uh when you've finished with the cabbage obviously you can attach your microphone to it um i think that's what cabbages are for i always find the ones with color changes really interesting and really pretty every time i do them it's a nice quick one uh and hopefully uh, it's one that you try. I really challenge you to see, can you get that rainbow? Can you make the whole range of colours? Um, it's British Science Week, so try your best. Have a go at it. Um, I wish that we could be in the lab to having a week of practicals, but there we go. So one to try. Thank you very much, as always. If there's an experiment that you'd love for me to go through, uh, leave it in the comments and I'll uh, see if I can do it. And uh, And yeah, until next time.